With only 2 weeks left before the year ends, I have to make sure that I have seen quite a lot of BL series for 2022 in order to give a proper review of it to share with you. But aside from being a reviewer, I'm quite happy as a BL fan because this year has been quite generous to us in giving us a lot of shows that we could choose to watch. In this video, I'll be sharing with you the 7 BL series I'm currently watching for December and my thoughts about it. If you also have your own watchlist of BL series for this month, be sure to share it on the comment section below. Before that, some of these BL shows might not be available on your country due to geo-blocked restriction. If that's the case, then you might want to sign up to ExpressVPN so you can unlock these BL dramas. Use the link on the description below to have 49% discount plus an additional 3 months free of usage if you opt to avail the 12 month plan. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. First on our list, oh my assistant. I have seen the first 4 episodes of this Korean BL and I'm actually confused whether I like this or not. I'm really having a hard time connecting with Moo Young and sometimes I get confused with the sudden change of his facial expression. On the other hand, Sian Ho makes me so much happy with his actions and thoughts whenever he's in front of Moo Young. Jun Seok also looks suspicious although I have read from some comments before from manga readers that we should be wary of him in the next few episodes. Since the episodes are short, I would continue watching this until I finish it. Another thing. The kiss on episode 3 reminds me of some of the older BL shows where they use different angles which I really don't like. I just hope that the remaining episodes would be better since the runtime is shorter than my patience. Number 2 on our list, My School President. I never expected to say this but the episodes of my school president are what makes my week complete. It started so good that I instantly fell in love with the characters of the show. Gemini and Fourth gave a great impression to me on what should I expect from high school students. I really love the carefree attitude of Gun and the two side of Tin whenever he's in front of Gun as a school president and whenever he's secretly helping him. Some school based BL shows this year really made a mark to me and although those series were not perfect, at least they have improved a lot from the previous years. For me, my school president is a gem. Number 3 on our list, 609 Bedtime Story. I have always loved fantasy romance BL series and I'm lucky to have 609 Bedtime Story this month. The year 2022 has filled with good fantasy BL dramas such as Triage, Vice Versa, The Miracle of Teddy Bear, and so much more. During the first episode, I was actually confused on most scenes on what's the relevance of those for the main plot. Usually, there's a build up of scenes to introduce the characters but I felt that some were just fillers for the first episode. Luckily, the plot kicked in on the final scenes of the pilot episode and that instantly snatched my interest for this series. I have already binge watched the first 3 episodes and I can say that I'm already invested on its story. My mind keeps on being puzzled on what's really happening while maintaining the comedy and entertaining scenes. The chemistry of Ohm and Fluke still stands strong even after 3 years since they debuted from their first BL series. I hope 609 Bedtime Story would continue its interesting plot until its finale. Number 4 on our list, Never Let Me Go. We have waited for over a year for this BL series to come out and finally, it's already here. The pilot episode gave us a sneak peek on what should we expect for the story of Palm and Noon. The episode 1 was great and although it felt short, the build up for the characters were already there. I love how they show the contrast between the Palm and Noon personalities and a hint of Noon's feelings for Palm. But since this BL includes action and crime scenes, I'm having doubts on the motives of every character and I know that most of them can't be trusted at this point. Anyway, Never Let Me Go showed the great chemistry of the main couple in this episode and I hope this would continue along with the plot in the succeeding episodes.
Number 5 on our list, Between Us. I have managed to watch every available episodes online of Between Us and I must say that I'm loving it so far. There were times when I felt that some scenes were draggy at times most especially when there were a lot of prolonged conversations. Oftentimes, instead of being heartfelt, prolonged conversations take forever to finish even though the thought were already delivered. But most of the times, I enjoyed it especially when it's a scene of Win and team just being playful with one another. My other concern for Between Us is the number of couples in this series. So far we have Win team, Dean Farm, Prookmanow, Tool One, and B Prince. Although some were just side couples of the story, it will be hard for the series which only has 12 episodes to cover everything and end it on a high note. Nevertheless, Between Us is one of the good BL series I have seen this year and I hope the finale would deliver justice on Win Team's love story. Number 6 on our list, Tussa with Love. If you are fond of drama and lacorn, then you will definitely enjoy Tussa with Love. To begin with, I have only seen the first 4 episodes of this series and I have got to say that I already fell in love with it. I really don't mind spending 75 minutes per episode of this drama because of its solid plot. Before anything else, this is more like of a family drama rather than a pure romance that most BL series do. When I first watched it, I almost dropped it thinking that the romance part would be between Tian and Yang since the two are half brothers. But thankfully, it was just my misunderstanding since Tian's partner was introduced in the second episode. I would definitely binge watch the remaining episodes of this once I have finally cleared my schedule because Tussa with Love is something worth my time. This drama definitely deserves a spot on my ranking for this year. Number 7 on our list, the director who buys me dinner. This Korean BL just got released last night with its two first episodes. When I have read the synopsis, I instantly thought that this BL would be interesting to see because of its fantasy plot. But upon watching the available episodes, I was a little bit disappointed on how short the series was. With 15 minutes runtime per episode, that's quite a little time for this kind of plot because it could have more to tell. During the first two episodes, I was actually imagining if the series got an hour per episode like any other Korean dramas, then the story would be even better laid out. The amount of flashbacks it needs is actually relevant for the series to have a backbone of its actual plot. Don't get me wrong, I actually love this series because of its uniqueness and its cinematography was great. The main characters also got great chemistry and dynamics and I would love to see the remaining episodes for their development. Nevertheless, the director who buys me dinner could have been much better if it wasn't time constrained but it is still a great series for 2022. Aside from these 7 BL shows, I would definitely catch up to some of the BL dramas I have missed and failed to finish. What is your current watchlist of BL series for this December, 2022? Thank you for watching. That's it and see you on the next one.